We're gonna have to wash this shirt at some point. Ah! Congratulations, everyone! Your phone, yes, you, Ed, your phone just became hot garbage. <laughs> yep, whatever device you're using, it's horribly old and outdated and slow now compared to the new iPhone XS models that Apple announced this morning. In fact, they're so amazing, you might as well stop watching this video right now and go pre-order one. Already did. Of course you did. All right, good, so we've filtered out all the dum-dums so we can proceed with the rest of the tech news. Hey which is of course about Apple's new iPhones. Uh, <coughs> so, <laughs> their new lineup consists of the 5.8 inch 10S and the 6.5 inch 10S Max, as well as the 6.1 inch 10R. Now let's talk about how they're the same first. They all have the new A12 Bionic SoC inside with a faster CPU, faster GPU, and a new eight core neural engine machine learning processor. They've got gigabit class LTE, though we don't know if that means they'll be compatible with 5G. And they've all got the same face ID system as the original iPhone 10. Furthermore, there is a <clears throat> no home button to be found in this year's lineup. So you can join me in pouring one out for the little guy. Also, the Neural Engine will power a bunch of great new augmented reality stuff and an exclusive Elder Scrolls game called Blades. But each phone is, of course, revolutionary in its own way. The 10S's get OLED displays compared to the LCD on the 10R, but of course uh, that one is the, the most advanced LCD ever in a smartphone, so you know they had to name it Liquid Retina. That sounds painful. Uh, they had to, there was no choice though. The 10S's are bumped up to full on IP68 waterproofing compared to the IP67 on the 10R. And then as for cameras, what about the cameras, Linus? Well, you get dual cameras on the 10S's and a single camera on the 10R, although all of them can use portrait mode now with after capture bokeh control. Bokeh is the background out of focus stuff. I did, of course I know that. For the first time, this is really cool, dual SIMs will be available in the iPhone XS's. Also, the XR is made of aerospace grade aluminum and the XS's are made of surgical grade stainless steel. You guys following all this so far? So you can do surgery in space with your phone, if necessary, of course. And it'll be really flashy space surgery with the XS's coming in gold, silver, and space gray. The 10R comes in a variety of colors. We're going back to like the 5C kind of, you know, iPod era. Um, there's like, Bold names for the colors too, like black and yellow. I didn't even know. Yeah, coral. Wow. Um, starting prices are $749 for the 10R, which is actually not bad. Speaking of the 5C, anyone with a 5C or an SE finally has like a pretty nice looking upgrade. And then $999 for the 10S and $1,100 for the 10S Max. And if that's too cheap for you, don't worry. There's a 512 gig version of the Max for $50. $1,500, wow. And they're available September 21st for the 10S's and then like October something -eth for the, the other one. Apple also showed off the new Apple Watch Series 4. It's thinner, it's got a larger screen that curves around the edges a bit. It's got a redesigned UI and a new watch face that'll help you remember to breathe if you need to like <laughs> calm down because you <laughs> are so excited about all this Apple news. Uh, those guys think of everything, don't they? Um, and there's also some actually pretty cool potential health features. Well, they're not potential features. They have the features. They're potential. You know what? They're cool. It can apparently detect falls and immediately present a prompt to call EMS. And it will also screen your heartbeat in the background to detect low heart rate or atrial fibrillation. And it's the first over-the-counter wearable that can measure electrocardiograms or ECGs. They actually had a real doctor come out on stage to talk about it. But he doesn't, the watch doesn't come with one of him. Should have had Dr. Oz. Yeah, no, they shouldn't have. If I have to say one more thing about Apple, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> like, like a girl, Yee! No, not like that. So let's move on to Big Quits, uh, brought to you by Synergy. If you're an IT professional or a power user who uses two or more computers at the same time that run a different operating system, be it Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, Yee! I knew that was gonna happen. You could have a severe mouse and keyboard problem with mice and keyboards all over the place, like a crazy person. Well, Synergy is the software that combines your desktop computers together into one cohesive experience. You can use a single keyboard and mouse across multiple computers so you can stop juggling mice and get back to work, you lazy bum. 
No more excuses. Go check out the link to learn more. A full review of the unreleased Intel Core i7-9700K has apparently been published on Spanish language site El Chapuzas Informatico, showing the chip-beating competitors in games and synthetic benchmarks and a huge surprise to no one because we have a pretty good idea of what it's going to be at this point. Um, it should be noted though that it came in under the Ryzen 7 2700X in Cinebench and 3 Mark. Take that with a grain of salt, of course, but uh, I've kind of said the thing that's in the script yeah. now because I, I managed to ad lib good. as good as Riley can write. So good. The EU has a new uh, take on copyright as their parliament just initially approved legislation known as the Copyright Directive, which will mandate a link tax charging websites for linking to news services. This is also an attempt to mandate a YouTube style content ID system for the entire web, which would pretty much cripple users' abilities to repost any kind of copyrighted content anywhere. This may actually be the death of memes. So what I would like to do right now is oh. give you guys a super memeable moment. I'm gonna be like, yeah. like, Whoa. and I'd like you guys to meme it up. Enjoy it while you have it. That's a crazy Because face. it's gonna be gone. Yeah. AMD has announced four new Ryzen CPUs. The Ryzen 3 23, you know what? I'm not gonna read all these. Let's put them on screen. There you go. They're meant mainly for pre-built PCs and low power systems and are apparently available now if you really want a pre-built system. So, cool. Windows users are encountering a new prompt that appears when opening the Chrome or Firefox installer with a warning from Microsoft that they've got a perfectly good safe browser already installed on their PC. I mean, you know what, I'm with Microsoft on this one. Why would anyone want one of those terrible, oh, nasty, nasty, unsafe, unsafe browsers, browsers from Mozilla or Google when, when they can have Edge? Edgy. That's an edgy. Begone, demon! I, I, I was, sorry, I was possessed there. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's oh, stupid. It's, nice. ridic it's ridiculous. Yeah. I can't believe that, I, I can believe they're doing this, but come on! And Intel has denied rumors, which we reported on Monday, by the way, that they are working with TSMC to produce chips on their 14 nanometer process. They're just producing the chips themselves, apparently, so TSMC can just back off, okay? They told you to stop texting them. They're not into you. No means no. And I'm not into continuing this episode because it's over. I mean, I actually, I mean, if you're into it, then I could be into it, actually. Oh my God. We could, you're not. <laughs> well, subscribe.